Okay, this week we're in uh, back at home actually, southwest Scotland. We're on a piece of forestry ground. Um, essentially, I don't have a great deal of control over what I do in terms of deer management on on forest forestry land. It's part of the national estate, and essentially, we're under remit really to the public purse, if you like, to manage the deer because there's going to be some restocking on there. So essentially, this morning we were we got the machine with us. I wanted to move a little bit of infrastructure around on the ground protecting some of the sites and just basically moving things that have got a little bit overgrown so we were multitasking again um, essentially row books um, I do have an out of season license on here so I would be permitted to take stags um, but I'm particularly concentrating on row books this morning there's been an area where some work's um, been undergone on a, 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 tele, a telephone mast so we've not actually been able to go around that. There was an exclusion zone around it for a while. So now the work's completed. I was sort of keen to get in there early season just to see what the situation was. And it's effectively a, a, a hill, a heather hill that kind of emerges out of the forest really. It's a good place for a road. They like to draw onto that in the morning. So we were in early before first light. Cold morning, um, essentially to see what we could find.
Okay, we uh, quite tricky that. We've got had some bloody sheep up here, which caused a problem, so we had to kind of sneak around the sheep. But the dog was indicating really strongly on the back of the hill. She's watching them sheep now. Um, and pulling us over this way, so we, we got to a, a high point, and then I could see a the roebuck down in the right in the corner of the wood. He was just fraying and right, uh, writhing those conifers on the edge. So while he, every time he kind of moved, we managed to move a little bit. Just use this little conifer here and try and position that between us and the open area below us. Um, it's about 250 yards from back there, so I wanted to get some some a bit more ground on him. and uh, managed to do that, get into here. It was tricky actually because we've got quite high heather so I had to back off a little bit and just got a mound here. It just gave me a nice little channel uh, just through the, the heather to the shot. It was initially just forward on and just nicely turned roadside for us. It's by one of the boxes we've got down in the corner. Um, they're going to do some felling in here shortly so we've, we've come across this morning with the Argo cat. I'm going to move some of these boxes because they're in the way of the felling operation. Uh, we thought we'd have a stalk while we were about it. Um, best use of time. Just starting on the books really now. Uh, it's quite a decent book, but I don't really have much flexibility in here. It's it's ground that we have to, you know, basically deer in season have to be shot. Uh, beautiful morning again. Stunning view, slightly misty. Uh, quite cold actually as well. I've given that 10-15 minutes to settle down, so I'm just going to go forward now with the dog and find a pretty stream where it's dropped. It's in the in the bushes just in front. Girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Still um, working on the deer Sarah surveillance study. It finishes at the end of this uh, end of this month, I think, actually. So we're just going to continue with the last few samples. Get them off down to Meyer at Public Health England. Get them a little sheet in. They very kindly provide us with very nice garlic and gloves. I'm just going to use one of these trees at the back here just to hang him up and growlick him and the road's just there so the vehicle can come right to him then we come out with the Argo and just go around and check some of these boxes start to move them off this site Okay, I'm just going through the examination. Mediastinal lymph nodes. I've done the mesenterics in the intestines, portal on the liver. I've done the submandibulars, but I think it'd be fair to say that. Um, that was a reasonably well placed shot because that's the heart and uh, basically entered centre. So I don't, it just amazes me how deer can run. What's that made? 60, 50, 60 yards with that. Amazing. There's a hell of a blood trail runs right in to where it died just there. Good healthy deer. But the one thing about here is I can leave that just to drain off because the, the track is literally just there. So I'll leave this cooling in the tree while we do the bits and pieces of maintenance that we've got to do. And it's just nicely stiffen, stiffening up and draining and then I can come and uh, pop it in the truck. And we're finished. <laughs> 